The following video will present solutions to the QCE Year 12 Mathematical Methods Sample Assessment 2020, Paper 2, Technology Active, Multiple Choice, Questions 1 to 5. The technology utilised is the Casio CG50AU Graphics Calculator running Operating System 3.2. Unless specified otherwise, default settings have been used. Question 1. The graph of f of x equals log base 3 of x looks something like this. It has an asymptote at x equals 0. The function f of x equals log base 3 of x plus 5 is translated 5 units to the left, and so looks something like this. And so its asymptote will be x equals minus 5. And so our answer is A. Question 2. The rate of increase of the population after 15 minutes is the derivative value of p of t when t equals 0 0.25 as t is measured in hours. By applying the laws of differentiation and substituting, this rate is equal to 5000 e to the power of 0 0.18 times 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.18. which is 941, and so the answer is D. This same result can be calculated without using the laws of differentiation by opening the math menu of the CG50 via F4, choosing the first derivative by pressing F4 again, entering the function, arrowing right, entering the value 0 0.25, and then pressing execute. Either way, the answer is D. Question 3. The trapezoidal rule using a width of 0 0.5 over an interval from 0 to 2 looks like this. Function values required are 5, 5 plus a half squared, which is 5.25, 6, 5 plus 1.5 squared, which is 7.25, and 5 plus 2 squared, which is 9. The value of this expression can be found on the CG50. This returns a result of 12.75, which is answer B. Question 4. This question can be answered by graphing these two functions in the graph app of a Casio CG50AU. This graph is drawn using the initial view window. In this case, it gives us a sense of the region in question. The graph can be improved by jogging the view window upwards using the arrow pad. The area of the region enclosed by these two functions can be calculated using the G-Solve menu. Press F5 to open this menu, press F6 to see more options, press F3 to see the definite integral options, and press F3 again to calculate the definite integral using the intersection point of the two functions. The leftmost intersection has been found. Press execute to select it as the lower bound of the definite integral. Arrow right to find the next intersection point. Press execute to select it as the upper bound. The area is displayed on the bottom of the screen, meaning that the answer is A. Question five. This question can also be answered by graphing the two functions concerned. Staying in my CG50's graph mode, I'm going to deselect the functions that I have finished with for now and enter the two position functions.
In this question, the domain of my graph will be important, and I'll adjust my view window accordingly. Open the view window settings by pressing Shift and F3. Use the domain of the function to set the minimum and maximum values for x. As the amplitude of sine 2t is 1, y values between minus 1 and 1 will show me what I need to see. With these values entered, press Execute and draw the graph by pressing F6. I can see that the graphs of these two position functions intersect four times in the domain given and so the two particles have the same position four times between t equals 0 and t equals 4.